In this video, I'd like to show you how to record measurements from the five metric measurement devices included in your kit. They are the ruler, the graduated cylinder, the volumetric pipette, the Celsius thermometer, and the balance. Numerically speaking, the metric system is based on powers of 10. Therefore, a good metric scale should have its major divisions subdivided into tenths. The proper way to read any metric scale is to determine the smallest number place, ones, tenths, hundredths, associated with the graduations. Then estimate one place to the right. In the case of your ruler, as you increment from one graduation to the next, for example, if you were to count from 3 to 4, it would be 3.1, 3.2, etc. until you reach 4. The smallest number place, therefore, is the tenths. Your measurement should be recorded to the hundredths place because you are allowed to estimate one place to the right of the smallest increment. In the case of this pink line, the measurement should be recorded at 4.84 or 4.85. If the pink line were to line up exactly with a graduation, for example 5, the measurement should be recorded out to the hundredths place as 5.00. This is to communicate the accuracy of the ruler, and this would be the case in any metric scale record all digits out to the correct place to communicate the accuracy. In the case of the thermometer, as we count, for example, from 20 to 30, the ones place is being incremented or being affected. So the graduations are down to the ones place in this case. Therefore, we could estimate to the tenths place. The temperature shown in this picture could be recorded as 20.9. In the case of the graduated cylinder, it appears that there are three levels of graduations. And also, the major graduations are not subdivided by 10, rather by 5. What I want you to do when working with this graduated cylinder is to ignore that smaller graduation. Therefore, let's count from 15 to 20 and use the larger graduations between the 15 and the 20. Doing that, we're incrementing or affecting the ones place as we count from 15 to 20. Therefore, if we're affecting or incrementing the ones place, we can estimate to the tenths place. This volume would be recorded as 19.94. Unfortunately, the volumetric pipette included with your kit, the major graduations are not subdivided by 10. Do your best to estimate your measurements to the hundredths place or the second decimal place. Also, when using this volumetric pipette, fill it to the zero mark and dispense to the desired level. So for example, if you fill the pipette to the zero mark and you let the liquid level drop to this point as indicated by the pink arrow, the volume dispensed 0.25. Recording data from the balance requires no estimation. Simply record all numbers on the digital display.